Hello everybody, I'm Philip Duncan. Thank you very much for joining us for our weekend weather update around New Zealand and obviously a detailed update on Cyclone Gita. There are three active storms at the moment in the tropics. We've got Gita in our part of the world. The eye in the satellite map still clearly visible. We've got a tropical depression up in the northern hemisphere and a tropical storm coming down around the northwestern side of Australia. This is the latest satellite map taken on Friday of Gita coming in very closely to Noumea on the southeastern tip there of New Caledonia. They'll be brushed by the outer bands, those are the, just the windy, cloudy areas out to the sides. Maybe a bit of rain as well, but the worst of the weather definitely around the middle. Looks like it will miss New Caledonia and also uh, Norfolk Island, which is just to our northwest, the Australian Territory there. Looks like the cyclone's going to go out and around both of those storms, which is some good news. On the animated wind map, you can see two big storms around the New Zealand area. We've got a big storm in the Southern Ocean and we've got Cyclone Gita. Both of them have similar central air pressure. And in fact, if you go to our website, go to weatherwatch.co.nz or look at the news feed in the free weather app, uh, we actually do a write-up about why these two storms have similarities, but also why they're quite different. And it does relate to Cyclone Gita because as the cyclone comes down towards New Zealand, it will morph and transition into a new storm system. That makes it a little bit harder for us to be more detailed about which areas are going to get severe weather. This is the latest tracking coming out of the weather company. You can see category three status, but it does t take a drop to a two this weekend. So it will lose that severe title, but it will still be a big nasty storm as it comes right down. The modeling, still not 100% sure where it's coming in, but the western side of New Zealand looks highly likely on Tuesday. This is out of the US government. Now this is an interesting map, it's quite a lot in it. If I try and explain it to you, there are, up in the tropics here, there are three different layers of circles going around the middle part of the storm here in, in each of these timestamps. But as it comes down to New Zealand, you'll notice there's just one. That's a sign of the storm weakening, so the winds aren't as bad. This is gale force within that red line. The other thing to note is the gaps between the, the rings. So up here, it's all tightly packed together. Down here, big gaps between each day. These are 24-hour updates. So that shows that the cyclone's going to speed up as it moves in, but there's another point. Notice how the circle up here, where the gale force winds are, is smaller than this one down here. So that's what happens to these cyclones. They come down to our part of the world and they spread out. So the winds get worse further afield, but around the middle of the storm, they're not quite as bad. So it's changing into a different system as it comes into the New Zealand area. It is still though a serious storm. This is how the waves are looking as you go through the next few days. Big systems here, we're talking about 10 to 13 meter waves right around the center, further afield around the New Zealand area, not as bad at the moment. Uh, one and a half to two and a half meter swells coming into the north. But this storm is now starting to affect marine conditions as well. This is how it looks for Saturday. We'll try and sort of zip through it. There's quite a lot to cover. We've got a cold front moving up the South Island with a bit of rain on the western side. The westerly winds are a little bit gusty as well. Otherwise, it's a fairly dry Saturday for most other areas with just a few showers here and there. On Sunday, the nor'east winds are developing a little further up to the north, a few drizzle patches. It's actually fairly dry though, despite those showers around the North Island. And in the south, that storm we just showed you, still blowing by, a bit of rain coming into the western side, and the winds are a little bit strong through the mountains, but they're not too bad elsewhere. To Monday, now the storm is dropping further down, very close to Lord Howe Island, away from Norfolk though. And this is the big line of rain which is going to form between the cyclone and New Zealand, another sign that the system is morphing into something else. So rain is going to precede the system on Monday, a few showers around the South Island uh, disconnected from that system. And this is how Tuesday is looking at the moment, according to ECMWF, this is the European model, showing a lot of rain around the central part of the country getting heavier as the storm moves in. The damaging winds, they're just around the center here. So they might not arrive until later on the day, although in a moment I'm gonna show you what the GFS map is saying and that's a little different. But this is how it's shaping up. And also, you know how I just said it's moving along fast and the middle's getting bigger. You can see that stretching out action there. The center here, these isobars being stretched out as a new system starts to form. And this is how it might look on Wednesday, according to ECMWF, a, a deep new storm with a cold center to it forming just out to the east. If this is the setup, this is a very serious situation coming in. But we're not yet locking in how Tuesday is shaping up because I'm just gonna show you now GFS map, and this is for Tuesday again. So the GFS map showing it further south 
and a more compact storm system as it comes on through. And then their map for Wednesday shows it completely splitting apart, moving away very quickly and deepening just like the other map showed, but away from New Zealand as a secondary low forms behind it. So there's still a lot of moving parts around next Tuesday and Wednesday. We can't lock it in when there's so much uncertainty. So that is all from me for this week. Weatherwatch.co.nz and through our free app we'll be having updates across the weekend, news updates and graphics and tracking and then Monday, Tuesday next week of course we'll do more detailed weather videos. Have a great weekend, enjoy the set of weather if you've got it because it might not last too much longer. Have a great weekend. <laughs>